So I have put together a document or a spreadsheet that I call the course plan. And the thing to understand about the course plan is that it has the exact same information on it that is on my heritage. But it is formatted in a way that is a little bit easier for some people to make sense of. And so for me personally, the My Heritage website is great and everything, but I get confused and lost on the website. And so what I have done for you is put together this thing called the course plan that is kind of a one-stop shop for everything that deals with Math 221. And so here at the top, you can see we have the Zoom link that we will use for any meetings that we have. And those meetings would be by individual appointment, like a tutoring session or whatever, uh, a link to our syllabus, and a link to how to get set up for Remind. And then down here, we I have it set up by date, so each week. And each week, again, goes Monday to Sunday. Every assignment, and every homework assignment opens on a Monday, closes on a Friday. Tests are due by Sunday. Uh, I have put these Google Docs together. And so if I click week one assignments, you'll see that this pops up. And this, to me personally, is just a much easier way to look at what I need to accomplish for the week than what I find in my heritage. And again, this is exactly the same as the stuff you're going to find on my heritage for me this is just a better way to have a checklist for myself to make sure that i'm getting the job done and so you can see as soon as possible we need to get signed up for alex and remind that will come in a in a couple more slides we need to read through sections 1.1 through 1.4 of the ebook in alex we need to read through the powerpoint and that's the same PowerPoint that's on MyHeritage. And actually, I would not read through the PowerPoint. I would watch the video of Karita talking through the PowerPoint that is found in week one of MyHeritage. And I would put a link to those videos in here. But because they live on MyHeritage, I cannot find a way to get a link to them. So you will have to go to MyHeritage to be finding those videos. I cannot put links in here. And so those videos will serve the purpose of the lecture. The vocabulary list that is on MyHeritage is also here for you to download. And then we need to complete the Alex assignment titled Chapter 1, Classifying Variables. And you need to complete the lab activity. This is the same lab activity that is linked in MyHeritage. And a video demonstrating how to do the lab activity can be found in week one of MyHeritage. And then by September 1st, so again, exams will always open on a Thursday and close on a Sunday you need to complete the chapter one exam on Alex. You can complete that as early as Thursday and you do have four days to get that done. Remember, you can take an exam two times and only your best score will be recorded. This is also probably a good time to stop and talk about strategy. So uh, in terms of the exam, what I would do is if you miss a couple problems or things like that, go back through your notes, go back through your stuff, make sure you do a good job preparing yourself. To, take the, to give the exam a second shot.